It's no secret that elite level footballers are earning enormous amounts of money. If you spend a couple of seasons in the Premier League and are sensible with your finances, you should be sorted for life. If you reach the very apex of the professional game, a salary of over half a million pounds a week is now a reality, and that's before one accounts for endorsement deals and marketing rates. So for most players, retirement means a tremendous drop off in earning potential, but we wanted to take a look at some anomalies to that rule. To make things more interesting, we're not including players who went into management and ended up making more money there, a la Marcello Lippi. Nor are we including players who simply made a fortune off the back of the image they had established as a player, such as David Beckham or Pelé. We're also omitting players who now earn their money through punditry, commentary, or after dinner speaking, such as Match of the Day host Gary Lineker, as well as Leicester City youngster Fayek Bolkai, who may be incredibly wealthy, but only by virtue of inheritance. Here are our seven footballers who are more successful off the pitch. Vinnie Jones It may be pushing it to call Vinnie Jones a footballer, but that was technically his job title for 15 years, so he's eligible for this seven. Best known for his nine-year association, over two separate spells with Wimbledon during the club's crazy gang era, Jones was a strong and aggressive player renowned for his hard man persona. Since retiring, Jones has become an actor, typecast pretty rigidly as some kind of criminal, gangster or villain. Having starred in a handful of big-ish movies such as Snatch, Mean Machine and X-Men, and with a reported net worth of $10 million, it would be reasonable to assume Jones has made most of his money outside of football. Ramon Vega A former Swiss international who turned out for the likes of Tottenham, Celtic and Watford, Ramon Vega was a towering centre-back. After calling time on his playing career in 2003, Vega moved into business. A graduate of the Zurich Business School, Vega's primary business interests concern asset management, private equity, and the development of luxury hotels. With a personal fortune reportedly in the region of £15 million, Vega has certainly made the vast majority of his cash away from the pitch. Dave Whelan Bradford-born former fullback Dave Whelan played for Blackburn Rovers and Crew Alexander in the 1950s and 60s. The highlight of Whelan's career was being part of a Blackburn team which reached an FA Cup final, although Whelan had to miss the game due to a leg break, a fact he is often mocked for repeating too frequently. Now aged 81, Whelan ended his playing career early having set up a chain of supermarkets. He sold the chain to Morrisons for £1.5 million and moved into the sports retail industry, ultimately building the second biggest sports retail company in the UK. Whelan is now reportedly worth more than £150 million and he has owned Wigan Athletic since 1995. Mathieu Flamini The first currently active player in this seven, or at least he hasn't yet retired to the best of our knowledge, fourth place goes to Mathieu Flamini. An industrious central midfielder who has been capped three times by France, Flamini is best known for his two spells with Arsenal, either side of five years at AC Milan. A lot has been made of the Frenchman's wealth outside of football, including claims that he is worth tens of billions, and Flamini has occasionally attempted to quell such rumours. The 34-year-old co-founded GF Biochemicals in 2008, a pioneering biochemical company who have been able to mass-produce what scientists believe to be an excellent oil alternative. How much Flamini is worth is hard to say, and the company is very much in its developmental stage, but if it can gain a significant market share, the recently departed Getafe midfielder could be onto a winner. Kaka Kalads A two-time Champions League and one-time Serie A winner who spent nine years at AC Milan, Kaka Kalads was a versatile footballer who played primarily as a centre-back and won 83 caps for Georgia. Since 2008, Kalads has invested heavily in Georgia, Italy, the Ukraine and Kazakhstan, with a particular focus in the energy sector. He moved into politics in 2012, forcing him to temporarily halt some of his business interests due to political conflicts of interest and he currently serves as the mayor of Tbilisi. Kalads has a net worth estimated to be in the region of $40 million. Robbie Fowler There's a reason why Man City fans used to sing We all live in a Robbie Fowler house, and that is because the former England international has a seriously substantial property portfolio. Fowler has been investing in bricks and mortar since meeting with the financial advisor right at the start of his football career. A fantastic goal scorer who was lethal when he first broke through at Anfield, Fowler supposedly owns more than 80 properties, and his net worth is reported to be around £31 million. Thomas Graveson A strong, tough tackling and tireless central or defensive midfielder who is probably best known for his five-year stay at Goodison Park, Thomas Graveson was a very decent footballer, although he's probably a little out of his depth at Real Madrid. Capped 66 times by Denmark, Graveson retired from football in 2008, and as a keen poker player, 
he invested much of the wealth he had made in his playing days in Las Vegas. The Great Dane's investments seem to have come up trumps, and he is now believed to be worth more than £90 million. So that's it for our 7. Thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more from us if you enjoyed the video, and you can now also follow us on Twitter for more ramblings from me. Our username is simply at HITC7s.